Sean Paul, the girls are moving around and dancing and flossing, you don't know. What I'm saying? Football. It's football. football. If football. I put fashion football. and music, how we run it, how we run it. And if yeah, I put yeah, our academics, how we run it, how we run it. Some of the prettiest ladies you've ever seen, we run it, how we run it. Hey, with determination and ambition, we must overcome it, how we run it. Oh, yeah. Now we're not, now we're not better than you. My name is Omar Kuntz, I play for the Colorado Rapids, and you're watching football TV. Hey, I've been a shame for talk, so been many places and seen many faces. I've been a shame for talk, so me know you're listening, me know you love the country. Still, no we're not better than you. We little part to it all our, born leader, we are no follower. We stand out in the crowd, so don't have no doubt. Jump me a so, how'd you spend your, your off-season? Uh, home in Jamaica. I spent my off-season home in Jamaica. Had some injuries, you know, leading up to end of last season. So, just kind of went home, chilled out, you know, try to recover and pretty much just enjoy family in Jamaica. Okay. Um, well, that kind of brings us to our next question. You had a really uh, up, and, up and down year last year. Right. Um, but congratulations on making the, uh, the 2011 All-Star team. All right. Um, how did you sort of manage to, to deal with all that and get through it? Well, you're trying to focus, not try to focus too much on it. You know, um, things happen, you're going to get injuries, you're going to have bad games, bad seasons sometimes. But, you know, you try to just, you know, move on, you know. Try to put it behind you, move on, and move on to the next game, next season. So, how are you feeling now for Feeling good, feeling good, excited, you know. Um, won two games so far in the season, you know, with new coach, you know, have a few new guys on our team, so... You know, it's kind of, you know, work in progress kind of for us, but um, we're looking good. You know, we, we have momentum going for us right now and, you know, excited for the rest of the season. Good. Under the new coach, how has your role changed? Changed a little bit, uh, more in the central right now, but it's a system where it kind of flows. You know, it's not a position where you, you stay in the center, you stay on the left, you stay on the right, you know. You, you kind of, if you make a run out, you know, outside, you know, to the right or the left, then the ball, you get the ball, you know, and or you don't, you know, you kind of you can stay there, you know, wait for the next position, wait for the next time to change. Other guys can rotate, you know, and just on where you end up on the field. So I think it's it's a freer role, you know, you're not like set in a, a given position. So it, it kind of flows and uh, I kind of like it. More or less? Same? Uh, I like it, you know, it, uh, it's a different, you know, especially with Connor, not quite back yet. You know, me and him, we have a pretty good connection, so we'll see when he gets back, if it changes or how it goes. There were some rumors of you being traded or sold. What's your um, what's your current... If for me, you know, that, that has to do with the teams and uh, the owners and, you know, stuff like that. You know, I'm a, I'm a soccer player, I'm a football player, you know. I try to keep my mind on football and... Um, you know, just trying to enjoy it and do it as best as can. So what's the what's the vibe of the of the team this coming season? I think it's good. You know, it's exciting. You know, as I said, new coach, new players, everyone looking to do good things because you know, with with new coach, new players involved, the new management even. Mm -hmm. You know, everyone's you know you you got an eye on you. You know, everyone's looking to you. What what's going to change? What's going to improve? Mm -hmm. You know, because changes were made for a reason. Mm -hmm. I guess so. You know, everyone's looking to see what's next, how you're going to do, or, you know, good or bad. But everyone's open for the best, and, you know, you try to put your best foot forward. What's your goal and ambition this this year? <sighs> um, for me, I, I honestly would like to, to take and be at the MLS Cup again and, and win it. I think, you know, that's a goal every team sets. But, you know, having gone there, you know, not too long ago, you know, it's very fresh still in my mind. And... Uh, I'd love to do that this year, you know, as a team, personally, obviously, would um, would like to score some goals and end up, you know, winning um, with a golden boot for my club and for myself. So you've scored many fantastic goals in your career. Mm -hmm. What's your favorite? What's what's the best? Uh, I don't know. There is, there's a, there's a lot of, a lot of good ones. Too many? Yeah. <laughs> a lot of good ones. Um, a lot of memorable ones were probably weren't the greatest, but you know, just just they're great. Um, you know, I, Can you give us one, one that stands um, out. College scored one from almost half field. Um, wow. Yeah, um, seventeen. I scored a really sick bike. <laughs> you know, Any bikes since? It. Every, yeah, bikes in college. Uh, I'm not in professional, I don't think yet. Um, 
my first professional goal was, was you know, memorable, just to, to get that first one off. I think it was great. Um, last season, uh, we scored here in New York uh, two seasons ago. Yeah, it was a very good. That was a great one. So, scoring against Luna is one of those. <laughs> that was great. That was fun. Yeah, and we had some fun after talking about it. So, it was good. Cummings making the run. He knew where he was, but he couldn't stop it. That's a great finish by Colorado. Poor play by New York. What MLS team do you most look forward to playing and why? Um, I think I have a few. Uh, New York actually is one of them. Um, good get city. To come to I, New York? I know, it's a city, you know, it's a good team, you know, um, good players, you know, players like you, you idolize, you know, like Henri and um, playing against Dane, you know, a Jamaican player, you know, always bragging rights there. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, I'm a footballer. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, you know, it's always good, you know. But you know, the city is great. I would always enjoy playing in New York. I um, like playing in LA. You know, I love playing against Dallas and Hugo. So, a few other friends of mine. So, it's good. Thank you. Messi or Ronaldo? Messi. Why? Um, great player. Makes, not only does he make the game look easy, he makes it look fun. He, he makes other players look good around him and just makes everything look enjoyable, just make the game look, you know, look fun as a kid, you know, like, like you're on the, uh, the playground again, so I love, love seeing that. Will Jamaica qualify for the World Cup? Jamaica will definitely qualify for the World Cup. <coughs> <laughs> <laughs> uh, what boots do you wear? Uh, I wear the Puma V1. You know, Are you faster than Usain Bolt? I wish. <laughs> no, I'm not faster, but you know, I've seen that guy practice and just him striding out alone looks, you know, phenomenal. You yeah. Know? yeah, it's great. Strides faster than your sprint. I think so. <laughs> <laughs> Who's your favorite musical artist? Uh, current, um, currently, I would say Damien Junagon. Marley. If I was to visit Jamaica, mm -hmm. where would you suggest I going? Not tourists. Not tourists. Off the. Off the beaten path, where should I go? You can hang with me. <laughs> <laughs> Down in Jamaica. So, you know, you can hang with me. Old Arbor. Okay. Definitely. Awesome. Right. Thank you so much for Thank taking the time. Thank you. You're welcome. Have a good day. Alright. Gangzilla digging up football, you don't know. Athletics and keeping fit. They're part of a party at all times. Big up football. Yes. Come on.